everyone and welcome to It's Pouring Paint. Thank you for joining us. Today is a very special day because for the past two months I haven't been able to post. There has been major renovations going down in my basement and my area was completely filled with boxes. At the end of uh, the show I'll, I'll just give you a little show of what, uh, what we did down here. And yet, I did get to set up my new studio, so I have new lights, new camera holders, so forth. So, if you have any suggestions to make, let me know. Today, I'm going to start with flower pots. Because it is spring, it is going to be time to see flowers. And we're all wondering if we can kind of do this on uh, flower pots. I've never done it, of course. Uh, so the hardest part of doing all of this was the taping because everything's round um, But it doesn't really really matter too much. So I just loosely did it So now this is a, a terracotta clay pot and these are two plastic pots um, And we're just going to see I do have some uh, of the bottoms here And I, I do intend to do a little bit of a pour on them too uh, Mostly around the rim of course because you won't see the bottom so for our clay pot here, I am going to use the colors, uh, the metallic um, Artist Lofts white. I'm going to use a blue that I have not uh, named and the Deco Art Peacock Pearl. Uh, these Peacock Pearl and the metallic white are some of my favorites. Um, so let's just start. Let's just do this. Now these are paints that were left over from before I actually did the renovations. So they seem quite thick. Yes, they do. I didn't do anything but try and give them a stir to see what um, see what they're like. And I figured let's try it on this one because, um, well, this one doesn't even want to come out of the hole. So I guess I'm just going to have to open it. But uh, I want to get rid of the paints. I don't want to waste them. So let's just... We'll do it with these paints regardless. And the next one. Oh, this is such a pretty color, guys. It's one of my faves. So we're looking like a good base here. I'm going to put a little bit more down in here. I can't really see on that side. Uh, I guess that would be a problem with uh, with having it um, like that. With a camera stand, what can you do? So now I'm going to go ahead and blow this off to make the actual design. So here's what I learned, guys. When you leave your paint for a very long time, it really gets thick. That's what I've learned. And I thought I would share it with you in case you were deciding if you could use it. It seems like it's usable. I'm going to be honest. I don't mind it so much. I'm going to do some more drips here and there just to add some dimensions. That's just my own like little word for I'm going to do some more pouring and to see if I can't layer it up. So it, I would like to also say in the past uh, couple months, I have gotten quite a, new, a few new followers and thank you very much for coming and following me. I'm very, uh, very happy about that. So I had to get some of it covered, but I'm thinking it, oh, there's just a couple spots right here. There. I'm just going to leave that one. And I say that and I'm going to do this. Just to add that dimension again, I was telling you about, right? Okay. Number one is down and out. 
let us go with the second one. Now this one is uh, plastic and it should adhere just fine to um, the, the acrylic paint should just adhere fine to it from what I'm being told. So I'm just doing the sides because as you know, sometimes the tops can just, or the bottoms can just sit in water. And what's the point of, oh, I can turn this, that's good. What's the point of um, putting paint onto something that's probably going to uh, just sit in water or at least be at the bottom? So in the sake of not wasting paint, I am just going to do it on the, the sides. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm going to undo this one because it's being difficult with me. I don't blame it. They're mad. I haven't seen them in a while. Now this one I can't blow off the top, which is interesting because I can't make that dimension. Oh, that one worked. I put a little too much force in that. So we're gonna we're gonna draw designs in this in various different manners. Um, one of the best ways of doing it is just by putting lines through it. And in order to do that, you can use something like this. and do little designs. Now there are going to probably come out because you have to keep pouring, but all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. But it might give it a little bit more of a, a different look. Now, as the paint continues to pour down, it will just use these little separators, and you'll see. Just makes it a little bit more interesting, maybe. I can hear that my uh, fiancé is home. He's been working during this whole time, and I, uh, we all really appreciate that. In fact, we've been fortunate enough to have him go out and get groceries and stuff like that for us during this pandemic and as you can imagine all i wanted to do was paint but couldn't because as i said before this little area had a ton of boxes just sitting in it and i was sad for a while but yesterday at mother's day my daughter i love her so much came down here with me and we cleaned out the whole area and she uh, she did that so I could start painting again see it pays to be a mom sometimes not sometimes all the time for me anyways okay number two done this is a big one as you can see well it's not a big one Another reason I wanted to do it on pots is because uh, a friend of mine has asked me to do one on a really big pot. And I, I said, absolutely fantastic, no problem. Never done it on pots before, but you know, I'm always up for the challenge. So it's probably best to, uh, to practice before going ahead and doing it um, doing it on uh, on your own when someone else is asking for it right that's what makes me nervous and they're like oh I'd really like you to do this and okay so I'd really I really want to do it too um, I just want to make sure I do it well and and then she'd be happy instead of going what the heck man what'd you do to my pot <laughs> that would suck so this I'm just using uh, brown, um, I do believe it's Van Dyke brown, just um, Artist Loft's white, 
and purple. I'm drizzling some purple into this because I I want them to kind of be a little uh, some well summery, flowery. And I only had so many paints to choose from, of course, because these are the leftover paints. Ah, see, good. I'm getting some of it. Oh, toot toot. All right. So I can see that some of this has... <laughs> Oops. My bad. I have a color in there from the, the last pour because I didn't bother to... I didn't bother to uh, <laughs> clean it, but there is a little bit of spots. So for the spots, I just go over them with a stick. You can do it with your finger. People do it all kinds of different ways. The most important thing is, is that you get paint on it so the rest of the paint can flow down a little bit more easily. And now I can't see over here, but I'm... Okay, so I'm going to take a quick look and then because I want to, I'm going to put purple in as my last one so I can uh, see more of the purple. Do you see anything around? Oh, all right. So I'm being told I need to spin this sucker around. It's got some issues. I got, I got, I got issues. I know that's probably copyright. Um... So, and yep, I'll check the other two. <laughs> my, my daughter's giving me hand signals from the side. <laughs> How sweet is that, right? She's like, don't, there's some stuff missing from the other twelve as well. All right, so there we go. This looks like a little bit of a hot mess over here, but that's okay. Don't worry, there's not enough in here to spill over. All right. Now I'm just going to add my drips of purple. Let me see. Let me see. I'm going to take a quick look around here. Oh, yeah. Now, I should address that issue that uh, that Jordan era pointed out before everything dries too quickly. I should have seen it before. I'm going to have to pour a little more on here, of course. All right. So I think this has enough of the purple. I think that's cute. <laughs> cute. <laughs> All right. One more for this little guy here. And I'm going to put a little guy, a little drop here. Now, if you've worked with acrylics before, you know that they're very fast drying. And the longer you wait to repair something, uh, the, the harder it's going to get. It's just not going to blend, right? So then you got to do a few little steps just to blend this particular area. And that's what I'm going to do. Basically in the same fashion I did with the purple. One drip at a time. Silly, huh? But it works. And I'm just going to do it. All right. We got that. And I don't think I want any more of the silver in there. I think I'm good with that. And we all know that the blue did not allow itself. Oh. And then as just as I mentioned to you, you know how difficult it is when it dries. These one drops will stay looking like a freaking drop. If I don't. I moved it, but I'm going to try and fix it.
I don't know if that's going to work or not. Meh. It is what it is. Paint is paint. It will always go its own way. Okay, so now that I've got that done, I'm going to do something a little fun with the bottoms of these two. Um, so this is actually going with this. So of course you want to, to make sure you have the right color and I'm just going to go ahead and roll it in this paint and I set it like it's so easy nope maybe it's a bit easier than I thought nope maybe it's not anyways that's what I'm gonna do and dip maybe there dip whoop dip all right, well, I mean, I think it's pretty. <laughs> now, and then this next one goes with this one right here, which seems to me, there's not a lot of purple in the bottom here, but we're going to try and see what we come up with. Yeah, as you can tell, this is my first time. But it's working. It's not quite going to look the same as the top. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure that's understandable considering it's being applied in a different manner. Okay, so that's that. I'm not going to do anything with the bottom here either because, you know, um, eventually it's just going to not be seen and, and wear out. So there you have it. I have done the pots. I'm going to let them dry and then I will come back and take pictures with you with them um, and show you the end results how they dried. I really hope you enjoyed this. I hope you're having a great day. Take care of yourself, take care of others. Cynthia from Pouring Paint, it's Pouring Paint. Talk to you later. Bye.